Hello friends, welcome to KK Java Tutorials. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to customize display name of parameterized test in Generate 5, right? So here you can see I have written parameterized test. It's not a simple test, but parameterized test, right? So when you write a parameterized test in Generate 5, then you have to provide the source, right? So here I have provided the CSV source, right? So these are the basically argument for that I would like to execute parameterized test here. Yeah? So here one thing you would like you would have you would have to keep in mind that uh, by default display name of the parameterized test invocation contains the invocation index and the string representation of all arguments for the specific invocation. Let me show you. So here just I have annotated this test at, at parameterized I am not providing any attribute then let's see how uh, basically test case display methods comes for every iteration so here you can see so this is the display name of root container which is the display name right and if I expand this one then here you can see test display name how it is coming this is the index of the test which is starting from 1 uh, 2 3 and so on right so I have three test three attributes so, uh, so that's why it is a uh, start index from 1 2 3 right that is starting from 1 after that you can see what's the your argument name right exactly your argument name is coming and in bracket it is saying showing that how long time uh, this uh, every iteration uh, took to run this test yeah so that's the default uh, basically uh, display name if you would like to customize this default name that is possible so that we can do using name attribute of your parameterized test right so name attribute here i am passing index right so index as you know is starting from the one right and after that zeroth index so zeroth index i have apple and first index uh, i have a rank of the fruit right so this is apple name and this is the rank of the fruit so this is the fruit name and rank of the fruit right so now if i run then you'll get uh, that will be customized name test display name we will get for every iteration so here you can see so for first index this is the index number first right and after that this sign we have given after that we have given the rank of after that we would like to fetch uh, which is uh, present at zeroth index that is nothing but the apple so uh, this is coming as apple after that uh, we have given is after that again we have a placeholder uh, for index 1 which is nothing but this is the fruit rank which is coming in similar fashion uh, display name for other iteration has been displayed right so that is the first way now let's try to understand what we have discussed uh, uh, in the slide right so here here what we have learned by default the display name of the parameterized test invocation contains the invocation index and the string representation of all arguments of the specific invocation what we have seen right however we can customize invocation display name via the name attributes of at parameterized test annotation right and uh, this is the following placeholder are supported with custom display name uh, when you use a parameterized test so index already we have seen right in here we have already seen how index works that's a starting from one two three so so this is one waste right index is one waste that is given over here the current invocation index starting from one after that uh, we can have placeholder like zero one two something like that right and individual argument we can access what we have seen over here right after that we can also use arguments let's see i am not using this at parameterized i am using just i am specifying placeholder just like arguments right so argument says the the complete comma separated argument list so if I execute my test case now, then it will give us a display name something like this. So that will not give you the index, that will give you the comma separated uh, attribute name, right? So this is basically give, giving you the name of every attribute as a uh, uh, display name for every iteration. That's, that's how it arguments works, right? But uh, if you want more customized way, then this is the good way to run our test right to dis uh, to customize our uh, display name of for every iteration in parameterized uh, 
parameterized JWT test case, right? So that's all I wanted to discuss in this video tutorial, guys. Big thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial.